Okay, y'all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Um, welcome to this uh, mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Now, I'm going to try to get through this video without going too far to the left. Because this story, it very angers me. It angers me so much. I mean, it just disappoints me. One more thing, I guess, what we deal with as a society, and that's that Leah, and this is this Leah Thomas uh, situation. So I understand that a lot of you all have a, don't think anything is wrong with it. And my mind just keeps reverting back to a scripture that says, you know, um, the devil makes evil fair semen. And I say that a lot because, see, a lot of people think you got to be all holy roller and all this thing. I think the Bible, the Quran, a lot of those books are just basic instructions before leaving earth. Isn't that the acronym for the Bible? Yeah. Basic instructions before leaving earth. So you can apply these truths and these postulates in a lot of situations. That don't mean that, I mean, and whatever it does to your, to your spirit to clean you up, to make you aware of your behavior, um, then all good and fine. Because a lot of us are using the therapy backlash as a and I, and I don't want to fall into this category. Everything, 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 um, up, 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 up. You need therapy. Some things the person may need therapy, but they may need a psychiatrist or they may need a crazy house. I don't know which one it is. And I'm sure the professionals will uh, decipher all that out. However, what we're talking about today is total disrespect for women. I don't know where y'all trying to do with women's sports because it took long enough and hard enough for them women to even uh, have um, sports. We're still not respected in it. So now we have to have men, born men, they can't compete with men that were biologically born a man with big lungs and big shoulders, right? Lungs double the capacity. And now they want to bring their asses over to the women's pool and whip their ass because they feel they can't, they know they can't compete with other men. Now, one thing you can say about Caitlyn or Bruce, I respect, is this. Bruce competed as a man. So his greatness is he always knew. He didn't just wake up one day, I don't believe, and decide, oh, I want to be a woman. If he had those feelings, maybe he was fighting it the whole time. Just like y'all asses need to do in that men's pool. You better fight your feelings if you want to be a damn trans uh, uh, a woman. because And if you want to be a transgender, then you make that decision. But you will no longer be able to compete in sports with women. And what kind of demonic energy? This is... No, I'm not going to say what kind. I'm going to say this is the same demonic energy that will not tell the truth about nothing else on the planet. The same one that lies about who gave literature, science, mathematics, uh, uh, and everything else to the world. The same one who distorted the history books and plagiarized them and represented them back to us as laws and facts and stuff. The ones who wrote themselves as Egyptians when anybody with common sense know they white, pale skin could not stand up under that hot sun. <laughs> Lord, come on up in here. These same people now want you to be accept the fact that this big Adams apple ass motherfucker want to come over on the woman's side and beat them to oblivion. Go number one from being 
last in the men's section to being number one in the woman's. And y'all don't have no problem with them damn shoulders flapping down the damn um, uh, uh, swimming pool with these women. I can't believe it. And, and, and the fact that this is even a conversation, you need to be able to go to your history. See, if you were kind of respecting scripture, you would go to it a little bit and say, wait a minute. Is this evil trying to be made fair semen? Is these people trying to put some shit down on me now? Because it's one thing to accept somebody and say, okay, if that's how you feel inside, I love you as a human being. Okay. And I won't don't want to see you hurt. I want for myself what I want for you. That's peace and happiness and love, right? That's what I want for myself. I want the same thing for you. Uh, now, whoa, that's where I get off the bus. See, you're not going to sit out here and have me sitting up and saying, I'm going to cut my throat for you. You have women out here, again, who have, look at me, I have eight brothers, okay? Uh, there's a lot of women who may have more masculine tendencies and they in touch with that. Okay? But they don't think that they don't think they as strong as a man. Martina Navratilova was beating all the women's asses like Serena because they're too damn strong. But who in the hell, what kind of mind would want her to go over there now and compete with the men? What's wrong with y'all? Something is wrong with your thinking. And collectively as a whole group, nobody gets to do this except white men. I keep saying it. They get to switch back and forth. That's why they the problem. Okay, let me just move on from that. Uh, Leah needs to compete with men. If Leah don't want to compete with men, that's fine. Then you're, we're going to have to establish a transgender league. It's just that simple. I don't even care if it's just eight. Those eight will take their beach ball head and big ass shoulders and uh, start competing with one another. Okay? Not bringing themselves over here and, and competing with women, and then got to learn to smile and get a trophy. Uh, and I'm not the only one that feels this way. So let me tell you what the women um, really feel that they're made to be quiet about. Um, a debate that has rocked the world of college athletics and raises some questions about the right to compete versus the right to fair competition. It centers around college swimmer Leah Thomas who competed for the University of Pennsylvania's men's team before transitioning to a woman. Now she competes for the women's team and is on pace for a season that has never been seen before in college swimming. See? Some of her teammates say it's just not fair, and one of them is sharing her story for the very first time. There's investigative correspondent Rich McHugh. <laughs> Two-year-old Leah Thomas is smashing records for the UPenn women's swim team, dominating the Ivy League and on trajectory to break NCAA records. Leah is transgender and swam her first three seasons on the men's swim team, not as Leah Thomas, but as Will Thomas. It was a very awkward phase where I was on the men's team, but transitioning to a woman, basically. Since transitioning, the fifth-year senior won Ivy League championships, set 10 records in the 200-meter freestyle, the 500-meter freestyle, and the 1650 freestyle. In that race, Thomas beat the competition by 38 seconds. But Thomas' participation in women's competition has league administrators and her teammates bitterly divided. In December, concerned parents wrote hey. to the NCAA, sending a copy to the Ivy League in UPenn, questioning the fairness of it. 
the NCAA and the Ivy League did not respond. UPenn did respond, expressing support for all swimmers, the desire to help our community navigate Leah's success, and encouraging students to utilize on-campus counseling and psychological services. The NCAA recently revised its transgender participation policy to defer to the national governing body in each sport, in this case, USA Swimming, which in February announced new rules for transgender women swimmers and to provide evidence that they did not have a competitive advantage from being born a male. 16 members of the women's team also wrote a letter to UPenn and the Ivy League saying that while they support leaders' gender identity when it comes to sports competitions, the biology of sex is a separate issue from someone's gender identity. Biologically, Leah holds an unfair advantage over competition in the women's category. Olympic gold medal swimmer and founder of the advocacy group Champion Women, Nancy Hogsett McCarr, sent the letter on behalf of the swimmers. Their coaches, their assistant coaches, their the the support staff, they're all telling them that they cannot talk about this. And if they have a problem, that they need to go to therapy. You're like, you can use our therapist here instead of being able to have a dialogue. But the NCAA announced that it would not change its rules for the 2022 swim season because it could have unfair and potentially detrimental impact on schools and student athletes intending to compete in the 2022 NCAA Women's Swimming Championships. The NCAA is spineless and they've been presented. They know what the best science is and they chose to protect Leah over women. They were more afraid of the ACLU and a lawsuit than they were of biological women. They expected the biological women to just suck it up. Now, one of Thomas' teammates has decided to speak. We agreed to alter her appearance and voice for this interview. This is the problem that needs to be fixed. So you've chosen to remain anonymous. Why is that? Because there's about... 2% of the population in this country who attack people, no matter what they say, they don't actually have an argument and they don't present any facts or logic. They just want to attack other people and like bring people down. And I just don't really want to subject myself to that. The other teammates who see this the same way that you do, how do they feel about speaking out about this? Are they scared? I think a lot of my teammates are really scared. Take me back to the first time that you can recall when Leah got in the pool and competed what was the reaction? What was your reaction? Yeah, the first time I can remember, I was kind of just shocked that this <laughs> was like here and like this was actually happening and like there was going to be no one to step in and in either way and kind of like assist the situation. We were kind of just made to accept it and not question it or say anything. Leah Thomas declined our request for an interview through the He's university, but she fucker. recently spoke with Sports Illustrated, pushing back at critics and said, the very simple answer is that I'm not a man. I'm a woman, so mm. I belong on the women's team. Mm. Do you agree with that? I agree that Leah identifies as a woman, but I think that there's differences between the physiological makeup of a transgender woman versus a cisgender woman. And to allow Leah 100% the ability to be on the women's team and there's no um, rules or anything like that, which is not fair. The term cisgender referring to a person whose gender identity is the same as their sex assigned at birth. Recently, Michael Phelps has called the controversy complicated and has said there needs to be a quote, level playing field. Caitlyn Jenner, perhaps the most famous transgender athlete, has publicly said she doesn't think it's fair that Lee is competing in women's sports. Quote, her cardiovascular system is bigger, her heart is bigger, she's got longer arms and legs. I don't think biological boys should compete in women's sports. That's the bottom line, Jenner said. Banners with the phrase eight against hate, a reference to the eight Ivy League schools, hung at many of the meets. It's not like people are discriminating against Leah and saying that. Look at them shoulders. She identified as a woman and still swam on the men's team. And that's a choice that she's making. But then to then compete with the women's team, um, that is something that other, you know, cisgender women are not choosing. There are categories for a reason because they make sense and they ensure fairness. When you were watching Leah swim, and meets and, and whatnot. Look What's at going this. through your mind? Frustration. Um, frustration that uh, this was allowed to happen. This the man. Has never said anything about the situation. Beating the hell out of these women. Anything, hey. They were then discriminated oh against. Oh, my God. Women. So you feel oh my that God. you've been discriminated against? Oh, 100%. Yes, yes, absolutely. I've been discriminated against. And most of our teammates have, too. And the NCAA has allowed it to happen. And it's shameful. The NCAA did not respond to our request for comment. From my uh, understanding, Leah still has male genitalia. Is it a source of discomfort oh that Lord. she is in and the she have her penis and others on the team? 
Yeah, it's definitely uncomfortable, and it's something that's been expressed <laughs> to our coach and other members of the athletic department that people are uncomfortable with it, um, especially, like, back at the beginning of the season. It's something I know for a fact that me and multiple of my teammates went to the coach about, and we were just basically told to suck it up and, you know, to deal with it. That's the phrase that they used, suck it up? Yeah. What's your message to you, Penn? Do better. Stop being weak and afraid. Mm. Do what's right. Support women. I don't know why supporting women has become such a crazy concept. And you have just completely fallen on your knees to cancel culture. And you've not even come close to doing your job. In fact, you've done the opposite of what you're supposed to do. And it's it's embarrassing. Do you believe that UPenn has caved to her the fear of like cancellation? Her head like a beach ball. Yeah, 100%. Her shoulders look like... University of Pennsylvania did not respond to the request for comment. In five or ten uh. years, let's say, when we look back on this, how do you think we're going to look at this issue? I think we're going to look at the people who are making these decisions and were in charge and kind of laugh at them. You know, you had the power to change that and you chose not to. You're kind of a coward for that. And in just over five days, the controversy will move to Atlanta, where Thomas will compete in the NCAA championships. <laughs> should Leah be competing in those? I do not think that Leah should be competing in those because there is now one less spot for a cisgender female who is of NCAA championship caliber who will not get to compete. And also, you know, Leah's going and the, you know, whatever heat she's in, whatever event she's in, there is no longer a fair and equitable playing field. Thanks for. Okay. Does Leah have a period? And um, oh. you already know what the answer is. The answer is no, because the things that make you a woman. Um, are different than what's in your mind, right? So we do agree on that. No matter how masculine a woman may feel or be, if she's going to function and her body is functioning like that of a woman, she can have a baby. She's going to have a period. She's going to be bloated. She ain't, she's going to go through everything a woman goes through, whether she's feminine or whether she's masculine. Right? Unless she do something to alter that. Again, that's why I got tall respect for Bruce Jenner, Caitlin. Because at least he she competed as a man. Now, I don't think again that she woke up overnight and decided, oh, oh I think I want to be a woman. Maybe she was fighting these feelings all along. Maybe that's what what made her more competitive. That maybe that's what uh, made him um, just be like, oh, oh, the best athlete where he made the Wheaties box. But guess what? He said he was still fighting those feelings. So he competed and he beat ass as a man. So you, you can't whoop him with that stick. He just decided to go with what he felt like inside. Look, and all I'm required to do is love people. Okay. But when you start trying to make me uh, 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 take evilness and make it fair, because now you're taking the cisgender women and you're totally disregarding their feelings, their training, their ethic, work ethic, you might as well let a bunch of men who can't make the NBA take a bunch of hormones and then come over to the WNBA. Is that what we're saying now? This is going to kill women's sports. And who is making these rules? To me, it's demonic. That's why scripture in this place, because I love scripture so well, and I can fit it to every damn crazy spot that I ever been in in my life, there's been something that came through and said, and maybe that's because I'm a PK. I don't know, but I know that it's been every time in my life something has come up and said, oh, there's some wicked shit here. Oh, no, 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 no. This is of the devil. I'm not going to fall for this one. I don't think it's asking somebody to, uh, um, um, somebody is serving the devil 
or doing that if I'm just required to love somebody. If somebody is different and they express love different than me, that is not even my business. That's why they call it private parts, private area, uh, because that's your private business. So whatever your private business is, is, it should be that way. Whatever your sexual preference is, th those things are your private business, in my opinion now. But now when you take your crazy shit and try to force it on other people, force this is being forced on people. Ain't no God in it. Because the God said, the Bible said, whosoever will let them come. Ain't will to come to this shit. Y'all bringing it to us and throwing it down our throats. And it makes no sense. With somebody lungs as big as Texas and their head as big as beach balls. And then they got shoulders that look like mountains. And you putting them in there with regular women. And then saying, okay, you're a girl. And then you go and beat them. And y'all trying to justify this. All I'm crying out to the rest of the society. There's always been times where you were made to believe something that's just sick. That's why the world's in a situation that you we in right now. Because white people believe that they control Egypt at one time. Any sane and rational person know that you don't even have the skin type, the phenotype, to have even stood up to that heat. Okay? Anybody with common sense know that you didn't give none of this stuff to the world. Because once they start studying and doing history, they find out that, oh my God, when we open up those tombs, the people are black. Oh, you guys gave science to the world. You gave literature to the world. You gave mathematics to the world. Oh, Lord. But you know what Pastor Ray Hagan said? And I love Ray Hagan. Let me say something about Ray right, um, right now. He, he said something, and I stuck in my mind. He said, when you have told so many lies on top of each other over the centuries, that telling the truth about one of your earlier foundational lies would unravel all the lies that have been defensively piled on top of it, piled up on top of it, piled up, thus exposing you for who and what you truly are. You really have no choice but to continue to lie. Now think about that. When you know you done lie so much, over the centuries, over the years, over the years, over the years. So not everybody believes those damn lies, except for the ones that really seek truth. So you got to seek truth because these people are dictating to us what the hell is good and evil. And see, and your, when their ability to maintain control over another's reality is based on lies, about that, about who and what the people really are, then you can never, ever, ever tell the truth. And that's what has happened to us as black people, right? They can't never, ever, ever, ever tell the truth about who we are. So they rather let their babies and their grandbabies and their society be deemed all ignorant and stupid and lie and keep lying because one unraveling is like pulling a thread. All the shit going to fall apart. You're going to find out when they was in the caves running around on all fours, we were out here in civilization having civilized lives. That's why it's so insulting to hear them say that they were the only ones civilized. In fact, they were the only ones that weren't. But you see the gaslighting. You see the projection. All the narcissism. And so now they get ready to project and do all this shit with this craziness, with this damn man. And I'm going to call him a man that wants to compete as a woman. It's totally different than a hermaphrodite situation. That's the gray area. Once I went to that workshop, I have totally different um, feelings and language when it concerns a person with uh, a hermaphrodite. 
hermorphodite situation. I respect Flame Monroe. Um, I respect T.S. Madison, Tim, whatever, you, because it's a difference. It's a difference. Now, whether y'all want to say it's a gay agenda and all that kind of stuff like that, you know, you feel free to do whatever you said, so, to talk all that. To me, that's not a conversation. Because you can't turn nobody gay. <laughs> Either you are or you ain't. Okay? And if you do it, and if you try it and you don't like it, ask some of you Negroes that been in jail. Okay? And if you tried it and you did like it. Some of them been feeling that way for a long, long time. So I'm not in here to debate those that right there. And the complication of sexual behavior. That's not my conversation. The conversation is Leah Thomas, a man, William, whatever he was at first. And now William Thomas can be a woman, not a masculine woman. Like a, a Serena Williams or a, a, a strong woman like Martina and Serena and, you know, a woman like me that's brought up with all these brothers. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. She want to come and overpower us with her shoulders and big ass lungs and chest and shit. I'm not here for it, family. I'm just not. So some of y'all are not going to like this video, and I'm sure, and that's okay. But I have to tell the truth about what's going on as far as I see. This is another one of those mind control situations that you're trying to put y'all into. Don't let it happen with this. Right before your very eyes, they're trying to tell you that this man can go on the woman's side. So say goodbye to women's sports or either this shit got to stop right now. Before you get a whole bunch of dudes that couldn't make the NBA. Bring their asses over here and now talk about they transgender. And then the, the woman's game really going to go up, right? Because they'll be slamming and every damn thing. Good night, Irene. If you like what you hear, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to do a little housekeeping, you guys. Um, <clears throat> please support us over on Patreon. Um, uh, we just uh, uploaded a few videos, and I want to grow the channel, and I need y'all help. For a mere fee of $5 a month, you can um, be privy to the information and the conversation and also the, uh, you know, um, giveaways and whatever we do over on Patreon. As we grow the channel, as we um, continue... Because there's 2,000 of y'all strong in here, but you would never think that when we um, uh, respond. There's a few of y'all that respond a lot, um, like Mad Hat or Mad Hat Doctor or Yanni or. Um, oh, there's a few of y'all that, that, that pretty regularly, Taqua. Um, but there's so many more of you guys that I see. Um, was I go through, but you don't comment. And I just want to encourage you. I'm not, you know, I'm just trying to encourage you. Hey, let's talk and let's comment and let's grow the channel. Okay. So with that being said, if you like what you hear, please subscribe, please share, please support, please donate. And we will see you in the next video. And please give me your opinion. Please. Do you think the devil makes evil fair semen? And is this one of them situations? I'll wait.